It is official. President Donald Trump is now the third commander in chief in history to be impeached. And take a look at some of these headlines today. We have impeached. Here we go. This is everywhere. We got impeached right here. Trump impeached. This is the Times. And even the Wall Street Journal president impeached here. So it is everywhere. It's a momentous day. It's a historic day. But the New York Post reported things a bit differently. Check out this headline, quote, Swamp Mistress Pelosi dresses in black for historic vote. It's your funeral. Well, the House passed both articles of impeachment last night, mostly along party lines. But now we're learning House Speaker Nancy Pelosi may hold off on sending the articles over to the Senate for trial. Here's why. This is what I don't consider a trail, fair trial. That Leader McConnell has stated that he's not an impartial juror, uh, that he's going to take his cues, in quotes, from the White House, and he is working in total coordination with the White House Counsel's Office. Lindsay, how do you, I just want to get your reaction to all of this. When I first heard that, I was kind of taken aback because I think using this impeachment as leverage is kind of backpedaling, especially when the Democrats went so full steam ahead. We have this down pat. We all knew that the Senate was not going to remove the president from office. So I don't know why everybody's acting surprised, like, oh my God, breaking news. We have to change strategy in the fourth quarter. This is confusing Can I ask to me. Are you surprised and that he said it? Surprised that who that, said that McConnell just said it, that he said it out loud? No, I wasn't surprised because really? he's been saying that for months. I mean, something along those lines. He didn't say, now I'm fully in line with the president, but now he, we are a deeply divided country right now, and everyone completely voted on party lines almost exactly. Even three Democrats went over to the Republican side. So I just think I would love if we can move forward and make some progress because we're just sitting here at a standstill, and I think the Democrats got what they wanted. They impeached the president. It should be just done now because you're not going to go through Senate. It's not going through there. So there's no point. To me, there's no point in continuing this and wasting the money. Can I, can I ask you guys a question? I know we wanted to hear you guys talk, but I wanted no, to throw no, this out please, to both of you please. guys. Yeah. Do you guys, it, it's like you're like, can we just be done with this and move on? Do you think it's like when you're in a relationship and you guys had a terrible fight in the car and you're like, well, we're just going to go to dinner with our friends and you can't because there's still that cloud of anger. How can we move on after this? How can there be, how can anybody come to the table? I'm sure, like, I think, I don't think the H word is out of line when you say they hate each other. I agree. Here's the thing. I don't know what Pelosi is up to, whether or not she's going to wait until the Senate flips to be Democrat democratically held and then they give the tri the articles of impeachment to Senate that has never been done before that would be a nine month wait I don't know but I know she's a master strategist and I know she doesn't feel comfortable handing over what she thinks is a backup of the Constitution to someone who says I literally am not going to be impartial and I think on the other side they're taking it as you're backpedaling because you're worried that what you're sending over is not going to get through because of its merit so I think people are saying you're waiting for objectivity in the Senate but really you didn't give us an objective impeachment here and so we're not going to address we're going to address it the same way the Democrats address that. All right. Well, let's know what yeah. you guys think. Facebook, YouTube, are you team Lindsay? Team Brandon said a lot. So make sure you, <laughs> you, you chime in for Brandon, Al or Tori. All right. <laughs> Meantime, the I'm president. Gonna, I'm just in here. <laughs> Meantime, I asked a question about breaking up in the car. You, you were doing you think no, that's a great metaphor. analogy. That's a good analogy. Fight in the car. She was crying. She was to fight in the car. All right. Enough fighting. Meantime, the president tore into House Democrats at his rally. Watch his reaction. Action. It doesn't really feel like we're being impeached. The do-nothing Democrats, and they are do-nothing. All they want to do is focus on this. What they could be doing are declaring their deep hatred and disdain for the American voter. This lawless partisan impeachment is a political suicide march for the Democrat Party. Crazy Nancy Pelosi's House Democrats have branded themselves with an eternal mark of shame. And it really is. It's a disgrace. And check out this tweet. It's ominous. Yes, it's this morning. And it said, quote, in reality, they're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way. See? Is this inciting <laughs> violence, Brandon? No, no, I don't say it's inciting violence. I say it's another tactic for him to rally his base. If you go back to July 6, 1916, we have this right here with the, uh, the Army of the U's, I want you. So now he's gearing them up for us versus them mentality, us American patriots, us uh, uh, conservatives versus the do-nothing Democrats. He's preparing his base to because it's a stain on his legacy to be impeached, but I think this guy is a narcissist enough to be like, 
like I can be the first president ever uh, reelected after an impeachment. Us, That's what he's doing with I that. I hear you. It's a very good point and very well said. I just want to remind everyone, us versus them, when we're talking about sections within the own country, is when we talk about coups and dictatorships. Us versus them is not what America, make America great again, should be about, in my opinion. It in should a, be in a couple agreed. weeks. In agreed. a couple weeks, we're about to end a decade that was probably the most partisan decade that we've seen from Obama through Trump. And so I think that this is where we are. That poster is a mirror reflection to exactly where we are True. right now. Yes. So inciting violence, I don't know, or maybe mirroring the times. But I think for the most part, people are ready to actually make some laws, pass some laws, and get back to work. Yeah. That's but what I'm you, saying. Do you think instead of inciting violence, it's inciting a cold civil war? Not not the hot, like, go get your guns and we'll line up on the battlefield, but just, like, uh, uh, there's a line here. But and is we that the thing that's doing it, or is the Times? The social media is doing it. You know, look, look what was happening when Obama was in office. The same thing. It was like, either you're here or you're here, even when he was trying to pass Do laws. Do you remember it being like this? Because Obama won yes. a lot of the states. I mean, obviously, it's never no pie in the sky in terms of, you know, racial harmony and socioeconomic harmony, but I always felt like it was, it, I don't remember I it being like I felt people cross like the this. aisles a little bit more uh, friendly and platonically than they are well, now. Well, when Obama was president, the House was controlled by Republicans, correct? Right. And that was like the first time in a while. So now it's controlled, you know, and now right. it's controlled by the Democrats. You always have this back and forth where it's kind of like we're stuck and not getting things done. That's why people get so frustrated with politics.